what is going on people of youtube you know who it be your boy noob side about the universal gamer and this is my video talking about my pc issues i'm having um and there's a lot of people on forums having the same issues as me surprisingly dozens and dozens so at least i feel good about that i'm not the only one but um with that said first thing first i'm gonna start off by talking about my mcafee program about three weeks ago roughly um every time i would try to open up my mcafee antivirus program it just bring me this white box. It pop up this white box, and I can't do anything. Like I can't scan my computer. I can't change any settings. Turn on my firewall. My firewall is turned on, but at first I had to find a different way of turning it on, um, and things of that nature. And just for the record, I don't have a virus. It's something. It's an issue with the McAfee program or something. I uninstalled it, reinstalled it again. Didn't do no justice at all. Another thing I had, you know you know an issue with about a week ago I downloaded Slender off the uh, actual website but you know those websites are full of a lot of adware and a lot of download links to these different ads and these developers put that stuff on their page for on purpose so they can get paid all these corporations be like hey let us fill your web page with a lot of ads and stuff like that and a lot of download links and we'll pay you for it okay because we're not making money off this game anyways it's a free-to-play game so okay and that's irritating man even the download mirrors are like have like little crazy ad links that take you somewhere else instead of taking you to the actual download you know some BS dude that's why I don't download that many mods and stuff off these websites if it's not coming from Steam I don't mess with the mod simple as that anyways ever since that I'm getting this down this object error and I know what you're saying well new side by back up and restore your PC that's not that didn't work so um object error you know this keep popping up close it pops up again close it pops up again close it pop and then it goes away and it pops up within two seconds while that's up on the screen, I can't do anything. I get this little ding, ding, ding. You guys know that noise. The most irritating noise ever. That's why I got it. I don't got it planned right now because it's irritating. It just keep popping up. Ding, ding. Just keep on popping up. And, you know, I can't hardly do anything. So, that a lot of people was having an issue with, which I was surprised. Because, you know, you, you'd be hella surprised when you, when you find out that it's not just you having this issue. So let me show you another issue I'm having which is part of that same issue YouTube oh did he really say YouTube yes YouTube you know going to YouTube let's say I wanna hmm I'm on a YouTube right now let's say I wanna watch this video CES 2013 let's get started which is the name of the video click right there and what it does is it puts an ad on top of the actual video so this is not part of YouTube. This is not the YouTube commercial that plays before you watch your video. This is actually part of the little adware that's on your PC. So this is overlaid on top of the video. And it says, it got this little orange button right here. Do you want to uh, skip ad? And uh, it says Internet Explorer just blocked the pop-up or whatever. But it don't seem like it to me. You know, uh, if I go to skip ad, it will skip it. But if I press play on the video, nine times out of ten, it won't play. This time, in this sense, it actually played. But nine times out of ten, the video won't even play. It won't even load. You know? So, uh, upload. I said I want to upload a video. Uh-oh. Did you really say upload a video? Yes, I did. I say, you see an ad pops up down there. As long as that's, that ad is right there, I click on this upload, it does nothing. 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 Yes, it's irritating, right? Yes, it's irritating to me too. I can't get rid of this. The only thing I can do is actually click on the ad. And then it takes me to a web page or my antivirus say, oh, do you really want to visit this web page? Because it got some harmful stuff and we've tested this site and blah, 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 blah. But nine times, well, five times out of ten is actually a site that sells stuff and is trying to get you to buy some stuff. But no, I'm not here to buy something. And then all this other stuff pops up. You know? And they trying to they really 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 trying to get you to stay on that page and I'm not trying to stay on it. So leave this page. Yes, I do want to leave the page. Get off my nuts. So uh so when I get this video uploaded, it'd be either I looked on Google and I finally found a fix after like trying to find a fix for three days straight, or I got a I got around because at first when I was having this issue, I was still able to upload YouTube videos. You know, I didn't have no problem uploading YouTube videos, but now, you know. So that's why I don't put my $2,000 PC at risk. I mean, it's probably not worth $2,000 right now, but that's how much I spent worth the parts, you know. 
when I first bought the PC, I spent like about $1,300 worth of parts and stuff like that. And I upgraded to an i5 and then upgraded to higher end RAM and another graphics card. So, but anyways, you know, that's why I don't download that many mods. I only download mods off of Steam. That's about it, you know. Um, I don't really like going to all these random websites. Hey, man, check out this link. And then when I go into like Google and they're like, oh, here's a way to fix the object error. Go to this link and download the scanner. No, I don't want to download more crap to put on my computer to fix crap that's on my computer so I can get more crap on my computer. I'm not about to do that. I'm, what do I look like? Stupid? And then they act like, and do you know how people leave comments to like Google uh, answers and stuff like that? They had typed their own comments as if people typed those comments down there saying, oh my God, this really worked. But I actually did click on one link and it actually was a legit software, but you had to pay like $69.99 for a first time use or something like that. Are you stupid? No, I'm not about to do all that. Because I already got like three programs that does that on my computer that I already paid for. One is my antivirus program, Mega Feed. That crap ain't working. Usually it works reliable, but for some reason it ain't working. Another one is the, the program that automatically come with Windows and stuff like that. You know, and Windows Defender. And none of that stuff cannot detect the issue on my computer. Why do I have to download an outside source, source when I already got something like that to detect the issue on my computer? I know why. Because all this stuff... Everything works together. You know, everybody, when it comes to these websites, when it comes to these ads, when it comes to this, these uh, scanners and stuff, everybody works together and make each other's money. But anyways, it's been your boy Neep Sai about the Universal Gamer. We'll not be uploading on YouTube videos until I figure this out. If you finally do see this YouTube video, either I figured it out or I got around it. I'll let you know inside the description what happened and let you know, you know, more detail about what's going on with my issue and how long I had the issue inside the description. If anybody on YouTube knows this answer and know how to get around this stuff, know how to fix this issue, let me know. Even if I already fixed it already, I'm still put this video up just to let everybody else see and just to leave inside the description that I fixed it. So it's been your boy Neepside about the Universal Gamer and I am out. Peace.